Hello, just want to talk a little bit about the cat uh, knobs. Cat knobs is a add-on accessory for FT991A, uh, FTDX10, DX101 and a whole range of other transceivers. The only one it doesn't work with is the older ones and the FT710. Okay, works with anything with a RS232 uh, interface and you will see um, details of what models it is compatible with uh, on the website. Now it's, there's two models, there is the um, this with this bracket here and specific firmware in it for uh, FTDX10 and then there is this one which is generic for all, all transceivers. Okay and they work like this, if you have a look you can see here on the 991 it's bolted underneath the, uh, the 991, uh, underneath the, the case uh, there's two screws that you that hold the bottom lid on just remove those and there's two holes matching holes in the uh, bracket which will fit there and your knobs can fit there uh, and the bale if we have a look around here you can see I've just got the bale down and it's designed so that it clears the bale the same thing on the FD DX10 um, the brackets designed to go into the bottom screw holes and the bale down on that one as well. Uh, I, ha I don't have a, uh, a bracket specifically for the DX101 um, but what you can do is you can you can take the circuit board out first you pull the knobs off they just pull off just pull them off like that undo the six screws and you can reverse the uh, take the circuit board out and you can then flip it up around the other way and sit that on a shelf or something or you could sit it underneath the shelf without having to worry about pulling it to pieces okay so let's just have a closer look on how it all works here oh, look it ships with or just before we carry on it ships with the cat cable so it's a 1.5 meter cat cable the same sort of cable that goes with cat touch okay so how does it work so if we have a look on the back here we can see that we have a power supply goes in through a DC 2.1 jack or through screw terminals which are marked negative and positive. Uh, we have the input cat port which would go to the transceiver and we also have an output cat port if we want to uh, use another device. And so we'll connect it up. This, this lead here goes to the 991A which you saw before and that simply plugs into the input cat port um, and we do have a cat touch over here um, and we will plug the uh, a lead in so we can have that running as well. Now it takes from 7 to 35 volts DC um, which is marked on the circuit board here and I'm just running it off this uh, battery pack at the moment that I have handy. Handy dandy battery pack. So we just plug that in and we can see it comes to life. It tells us uh, what it is and we can see that the cat touch is working it's communicating we've got a display up on the cat touch okay so as we change the uh, knob it will change what's happening on the transceiver now you'll notice there's a time lag be before when I change the knob to when the transceiver changed we'll just have a look at that again sorry the cat touch updated so if I change a band all we see is band up or down on here and then we'll see that the band has changed on cat touch the actual band change is instantaneous on the transceiver I've got another one up here we can see uh, we'll put it into focus and if we we can see that it is instantaneous on the transceiver now there is a lag uh, on the anything that's connected to the output of cat knobs. The reason is, is there's no handshaking going on on the cat bus. It doesn't work like that. It's just basically whoever's on the bus gets to talk first. So when we turn a knob on here, and at the moment we're changing the contour frequency for the transceiver, um, when we do that, it's sending the command and then for about two seconds until the display here comes back up 
it has control of a cat port and then it passes it on to the other device. Okay, so that's how, how it works. Um, you can program any button. I'll, I'll see if I can bring this up closer so we can see uh, the programming sequence. It's really easy. Press a button, turn it, and select what you want. So in this one we'll, we'll look at mic gain. Re stop turning it on the one that you want, which was mic gain, and now when we just turn it, we can see that we can adjust the mic gain. And we will see mic gain has adjusted here on the cat display to 83, and of course it's on the transceiver it was 83, which is what we had. Now we're up to 84, and so on. So all six knobs are programmable. You can have anything that you want. There's about 30 different things that you can program, and uh, they're available from our website, catmeters.com, and I also sell them on eBay. They're a little bit more expensive on eBay to cover the eBay fees. Um, and both of them ship via uh, New Zealand Post, which is a track shipping service, and they ship globally. Um, more details and pricing on my website and also um, on eBay. All right, thank you for watching my video. Cheers.